Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cooker on Oven Break, where I'm going to be focusing on another cookie trial today, but it's actually special because this is a legendary cookie we're talking about who also has a magic candy, and luckily, I have the supplies to actually make the magic candy exist. Now, I don't have this enough supplies, surprisingly, to make the magic candy max out, which, let's be honest, that's unfortunate. However, I have at least have enough to at least show it off, at least on the second run, because we're going to be running once, just like as how it is, and then we're going to be running twice to see, like, or once the first time, just to run <laughs> We're going to be doing, uh, go down here, uh, da 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 do we're going to be doing, uh, Mass Madam Sea Fairy Cookies Trial. Now we're going to be, I'm actually not going to be equipping the costume for this, so, please, just get the normal. Here we go, and, do they have a costume? No, no, this is just the normal one. It just, like, it looks so majestic that, like, I swear it didn't look like a costume. I'm gonna be honest. But, hey, this is literally the trial's peak. There's, honestly, it's most likely possible that we're gonna get diamond rank in this as it is. However, we don't have the magic candy, so that could play a major factor in it. However, actually, I think we do. No, we actually don't. Okay. Mm-hmm. Eh, sorry, there's just a hair near me. Hair near me. Uh, but... We're gonna be running once, just like as how it is, and then run twice with like a level three magic candy. I think that's how I'm gonna cap it. I think, and yeah. But first, let's talk about the story of Sea Fairy Cookie first. Sea Fairy Cookie was frozen under a curse long, long ago. Perhaps, but perhaps because of her grieving heart, her soul was frozen beyond magic. If it weren't for the warm kindness of our cookies, she might have frozen. She might have chosen to stay frozen forever. Beyond her flowing hair, the twinkle in her eyes. The, twink the twinkle in her eyes still states that she is willing to fight for her fate. Let's hope she does not let go of her sword, giving up hope and choosing to turn to sea foam. That's kind of scary to be honest. Imagine like your entire existence is focused on holding this one item, and if you let it go, you turn to sea foam. I don't think I can live like that. So, according to her skill, summons a powerful wave that blasts at given intervals, or a, a, at a given interval. During the wave blast, the wave beads destroy obstacles and create sea crystal jellies. Love love for more points for sea crystal jellies. This makes me thirsty for water, and I don't have a drink near me. Well, I actually do, but I just want plain water now. Uh, what's this middle one? Oh, level five with a magic candy. Oops, well I can't do that yet. And apparently, fun fact, she has no associated treasure, so I can't really talk about that. But what we can talk about is Wave Drop, her pet, which states, For time immemorial, for time, what? For time immemorial, the waves of the ocean longingly gazed up to the light of the moon. At the top of the tower of the frozen waves, Sea Fairy Cookie created a pet which possessed the purest of hearts. And now Wave Drop Cookie remain, uh, wave, dro cookie. wave Drop remains in the tower, waiting. Waiting. Towering waves reach towards the sky, eager to deliver Sea Fairy Cookie's heart to the moon, but to no avail. The br but the belief and hope for even the briefest of encounters helps keep the smile alive. Are they smiling? Well, I think that's a gentle smile. I think. It's hard to see, but it's light. Uh, and their skill is that they summon columns of water at given intervals. The columns will destroy nearby obstacles, granting wave summoning points, and restoring a set amount of energy. Level up for more ener energy. energy restored and more wave summoning points. It's a good thing we basically, we don't have them maxed, but, uh, basically, honestly, the cookie's maxed out, as you saw there at level 15, and the pet was at level 11, but it's perfect for the trial since it caps out at level 11, and treasures cap out level 7, which we would probably need, a uh, spotlight, hot rod, and also, uh, ice frozen thing, so I guess we can equip those, because if, if they have no associated treasures, then I guess it really doesn't matter, so spotlight, uh, here's your hot rod, and uh, I know it's just like a motor, but plus, I like calling it a hot rod. It just looks cool. And wh I forgot what the third thing was. Was it the plumbing? It wasn't the MacBook, was it? What am I thinking? It definitely wasn't. Uh, frozen scoop thing. But it wants me to use the uh, egg. And the pet is at level one for this. Uh, but no, I know the other treasure was the plumbing ice cream. So let's get let's go ahead and equip the ice cream. See how good we can do with it. I'm getting, now I'm getting super hungry now. I'm getting thirsty for water. I'm getting hungry for ice cream. All right. As it is, I'm going to be running like this. And then on the second run, I'll be giving myself a magic candy, getting up to level three and see how good we can do from there. All right, let's go ahead and swim on through. And ever since, I just want to say this right now, ever since I looked at Sea Fairy Cookie's hair, I'm just thinking, why can't I just get like a glass cup, put it under her hair and just like, or like put it where her hair is. And then just get a free cup of water like that. Is that insulting? I don't know. I mean, her hair is literally water. 
Unless if it's not water and it's like some very good hair hair care product. But come on, she's literally a fairy of the sea, so what am I thinking? There's apparently Kiwi Biker Cookie outside just revving their motorcycle. I don't know what that's about, but plebbing, they just always like to, uh, rev their motorcycle outside my house. But anyway, even if he didn't hear that, I just wanted to point it out anyway, because if I didn't, I'd probably be sounding insane. I already sound insane it is, so what am I saying? Oh, there goes that snowball just crashing into everything. At least it makes life easier for me. Come on. I need, uh, yeah, I definitely need those potions just so I can get through the obstacles. Couldn't make it through without it. By the way, I've actually never heard this soundtrack before, like this song. Like, I've obviously heard the song that's used, uh, when her skill is played, which is actually about to happen in just, like, a couple seconds. Yep, right here. I missed a bunch of frozen bear jellies down there, though. That sucks. But, like, yeah, this song I've heard. But this song for the trial, I've actually haven't, I've not heard, like, once. And if I did, I must have only- Oh. Well, that's a tight jump to, like, make without getting hit. Well, I guess maybe I could have made it if I just, like, took the hit with my hot rod. But, like, I will say, this theme is plumbing frantic. It's, like, hectic. It's, like, duh, nuh, 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 nuh. And, like it It's, like, the song that plays that makes you think, like, Alright, tensions are high. I think it's about time that we get out of here. Or, like, there's a time limit or something. So we gotta go fast. Something like that. But I don't know why. I think I just like it because of that. I wouldn't call it, like, one of my favorite themes in the whole entire game, but I'm just saying it's... It's nice for atmosphere. At least that's just my opinion. By the way... Oh, there goes my hot rod. Where the fuck did that go? I need to put it in the garage just to wait for it to, uh, come out. But I was also saying, I noticed how, uh... These putting face... There's faces on the columns, and I think... I think the... They're made out of icing, probably? I don't know. It just makes me feel weird knowing... Seeing that the, some of those columns literally had faces on them. And I know I should be worried about, like, that with, like, when it comes to any obstacle. But, like, I don't know, it's just weird to see it like that. It's, like, some weird art type. And I can't explain it at all. Alright. Magical appearing stairs just coming out of nowhere. We get the bonus time. Oh, I think this is a custom bonus time theme. Like, bonus time theme, too. Yeah, because I've never heard this before, either. This is nice. I like this. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Go up and down. Gotta get all this loot just so I can get good rank. We're actually already in the gold tier, which we're about to enter the emerald tier, which, honestly, it w I think it was possible to get diamond rank like this. It's just, I still want to run with a magic candy because I gotta make sure I get that big score. I gotta get the best amount of score. But, eh, who cares? Well, I care. I, I will only care when it's, a, like, I have reasoning to care, you know? Other than that, it can't be my situation to worry about, you know? You know, you know, you know. By the way, I just noticed, is this place really safe when it has but, <laughs> rubber duckies? <laughs> or jelly duckies, I guess. But I was gonna say, is this place really that safe when it has these plumbing, uh, cryognal, like, snowflake robots trying to kill me? Because, I'll tell you what right now, I don't think it is. And by the way, danger. What danger is there to exist that I haven't already seen? Okay, maybe that. And also clouds? Oh, okay, it gives me a platform. At least I'm safe for right now, but then again, I'm probably not going to be for the next two seconds. One, two, three. Oh my lord, I've surpassed two seconds. I'm, a, I'm amazing. I'm happy that I'm living. At least I hope I can keep living. Okay, I think this should get me to diamond rank. I think. Oh no, there's still a lot of progress. Honestly, at this rate, we actually might not get diamond rank still. It seems tight even if we do. I think the magic candy is going to make it so much easier. I don't know, it seems possible, but I think that magic candy makes a world of a difference. Yeah, it's not even gonna be possible. Check that out. Alright, well, we've confirmed that despite my best efforts, a mag the plumbing magic candy, even if it is at level 1, I think that's guaranteed you need that to get diamond rank, because I literally just tried that right now. I couldn't even get it done, despite my sea fairy and the pet being at max level. So that's unfortunate, but that's shocking to learn about. So I know it says we have nothing for it, but as you can see, I got some stuff here, and we can go to the magic laboratory. This is how we make these items, and I have a nice amount of stuff here that I can make it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make five of these, because I think that's a good amount. It should be at least, as you can see, items being created. And there we go, we got these nice seafarer-looking things. So now we can go back, we can go here, 
and then we can start crafting. And we can make... Can the motor... Can... Who the put the Kiwi bike kicking right outside just to, like, keep revving their motorcycles out? Motorcycles. Motorcycles, shush. And we can get this to, uh... Oh my lord, that's quite a lot. But you know what? If it's 10,000 match candy you want... Ten, no, it's not a candy, but... Can I purchase, like, half in, like, uh... This, like, okay, a couple hundred crystals, and then the other half can be magic powder? 6,400? Fine, fine. Whatever, I think it'll be worth it in the long run. Like, especially if I have to use, like, Seafaring in a custom run or something. Then now I have added magic candy effects. This is good. So, according to what the skill says for the magic candy, it says... An essence of the ocean follows the cookie. The essence of the ocean will shoot wave beads at certain intervals. Wave beads destroy obstacles, create seed crystal jellies, and restore a portion of the cookie's energy. The story of the or the, str the stronger the enchanted power, the more points for sea crystal jellies. So of course there is loot available to us, but it's not enough. We just have to run again because as you can see, there's some crystals that we can get up top there, but we can only get it if we get diamond rank. But our our magic candy is now at level three. So I think I have high hopes that we can get this done now. We just kind of got to focus on our bonus mission. And also we can get an extra reward when it comes from down here. So, you know, by the way, treasure incantation ticket, that's good. But we just got to get that diamond rank, baby. We just, we just got to grind for it, you know? All right, this should be the run. And I'm hoping it is. So let's just go straight into it without any other comments to make. Imagine if I just said that and then I just like stayed silent for the rest of the whole entire video. It's like, no more comments, and it's just sign for the way through. Even the outro, right when I'm about to do the outro, it's just like... Just, and I don't even say, hey, with the hype beats, it's just like the outro music builds up, and then you just hear it. Man, that would just, that would just like, be very weird for me. Like, I... I that, was, that would be a funny challenge, but it would be so boring. How long can I play a video game for without making self-commentary? Like, that would be just like... That would probably traumatize me, I kid you not, because... I probably couldn't go, like, at least, like, a minute without making witty in-game commentary. Or just commentary about what's happening in the game. Like, seriously. Commentary has basically turned to my life. And I, uh, I gotta be honest, I fucking love it. I would not trade it in for anything in the world. Well, except maybe, like, saving someone's life. Like, if someone told me, like, oh, uh, if, hey, someone's dying right now and they need your voice box. Like, they have, like, a throat infection. Infection? <laughs> They have, like, a throat infection, and, uh, they need someone's voice box that sounds exactly like yours to save them. Would you do it? I'd be, like, absolutely. If it saves a life, then I don't care. Like, I could probably, like, make content in other ways. Like, I could be probably, like, one of those YouTube- Oh. Oh, that sucks. But, just don't get hit again, and then I'll be fine. But, I could probably be, like, the YouTubers who, like, uh, do commentary where they just have the text on the screen. And I could probably still make some witty commentary like that. It would be different. But, yeah. I think I could still- I would still- pull that off as long as it meant I could still make content in some way and even then so there's people who like never reveal their voice and like they could still make good content I wish I could give off like a list of names but they're kind of like you know flying above my head right now in fact a good example is uh I mean they sometimes show their voices but uh I think crab bar is a really good like youtuber also know uh, uh I keep getting hit my fucking hot rod is going to waste now uh Crab Bar, who usually makes, like, Terraria content, I think, or, like, other content that, uh, really good at making videos, and, uh, yeah, they've, uh, shown their voice before, but, like, it really didn't make a big impact on anything, but, hey, cool person, along with Shy Guy Mask, who, like, does, uh, you know, challenge content, and, honestly, they make really good content, and, honestly, a bunch of Terraria YouTube, uh, YouTubers have done the format of, like, oh, I make Terraria content, but, like, I don't use my voice, and, I'm not trying to, like, flame them and, like, flame them for that at all. I actually think it's really cool because I don't know why. Like, when people make videos like that, it's kind of, like, more informative in, to me. Like, I feel like it's just, like, there's a lot more knowledge that goes into it. I feel like more research would be put into the videos like that. But I don't know. That's just me. And videos like that, they can still prove to have good witty commentary. At least, like, at least keep you interested, you know? If only I could do the same. But hey, I hope they both get to like 10 million subscribers. I don't care. In fact, there's like I said, a bunch of Terraria YouTubers have been doing that, and I like that format. But of course, you can just let's play the game, just like how I have, and just have fun with it. I know like no one cares about my 100 episode long Terraria let's play, but the game did update like in the meantime, and there's still some achievements I want to get. But I'll do that at a later point. I don't think I need to worry about that right now. Oh no. 
That better not be my downfall. Me falling right there better not be like everything that spells out doom. I know I say that like every single time that I make one mistake, but come on. I could if I if I got damaged there, at least my hot rod would have taken it again, which is kind of embarrassing because like come on, I got hit, I got hit twice with a hot rod so far. I know it's a motor, but eh. oh by the way, we actually collected the full danger there, so that's nice. The danger isn't nice, but collecting all those jellies is. Okay, well now my hot rod's getting hit. Am I just getting worse? I'm getting worse! I'm actually getting hit here. No, I think I can still pull it off though. I think I'm still fine because uh look how much energy I have left. If my skill activates one more time, I think I can pull it off. I can I think I can pull this off hard, baby. Obviously, it's not gonna mean that like, oh, I'm gonna get the best amount of points, but at least it's gonna ensure that I get diamond rank. I hope it does at least. If it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. Come on, please, game. It's so close. Oh, if it doesn't, I'm gonna scream. Come on. Don't mess up. Don't do anything. Game, please. Oh, okay, good. We're fine. We're fine. I don't have to replay through. Oh, I really almost just set myself up for failure right there. I think I made it farther, too, somehow. Did I? I don't think there's any way, because I got, I got hit, like, three times. Maybe f four, if you include the actual real hit. No, because I'd never seen that congratulations before. What the fuck is going on? Seafair? Yeah, I did make it farther somehow. The how, sh how the heck is that possible? Because I've never seen the congratulations screen before. Like, in the trial. I mean, hey, I can't complain about that at all. What I can do is that I can get this bonus reward. I can go up here. I can get all these rewards being coins, crystals, spirit potions, and treasures, and rescue tickets, and all that stuff. And lastly, I can actually go out. Please press the X. There we go. I can get this free reward, which is a 10 plus 1 treasure incantation ticket. And I've officially gotten 60 diamond ranks. That was diamond rank number 60 that I've gotten so far. And you know for a fact that we're just going to keep pushing. We're going to try and keep on getting the best ranks. So, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. Also, share it with your friends, share it with your friends for more pick-around content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Or you want to, hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And also, I have merchandise available if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. And also, I have a Discord finally set up, which is down in the description for you to join. And it's a fun time there. And last but not least, the Cookie Run Iceberg Resurface is probably at 100k views by the time that I upload this. But if it's not, then be sure to watch that video. I put a lot of effort into that. And it would, be, oh, it would mean a lot to me if that got 100k views. But above all else, I will see you and Deezen Guardians in the next video. Heal the hype knees.